We're going to do the continuity of CPC and polarity of the steel wire armour job. We've discussed the need to remove the conductor within the cable of the armour for the CPC in order to prove polarity. We've had issues before when we've left it connected in the earth bar, picking up the path between the steel wire armour between enclosures and therefore not confirming polarity as we discussed previously. This time, we're going to link at the tails between our earthing conductor and our line conductor tail. We've got a fuse fitted and we've got the double pole or linked main switching circuit. We're going to go to the furthest part of the circuit to our disconnected CPC and connect onto our line conductor. Then we're going to operate the double pole switch and remove the fuse as part of our polarity test. Clipping onto the disconnected conductor and on top of the main switch, we've got a reading of 0.05 ohms or a continuity reading. To complete the polarity test, we're required to operate the switch. The issue with that is it is a double pole switch, therefore operating both line and neutral. So to prove polarity, we need to pull out the fuse, which is in the line conductor only. The instrument goes off. That's the continuity of CPC and polarity test finished, and now we move on to the insulation resistance. Okay, then we're ready now to do our insulation resistance test on our steel armoured sub-main circuit. This time we're going to do it from the tails, because we haven't got any RCDs built within the 60 amp isolator, therefore we're not worried about doing it under 500 volts during the test. The RCD which is in the consumer unit is in the off position, so our test will go through the tails, through the circuit feeding the distribution board, okay, and stop at the top of the RCD. Okay, so we're going to connect on our live conductors first and press and test. We've got a reading greater than the meter, so greater than 999 mega ohms. Move around, we're going to go between our line conductor and our earthing conductor. And again, we've got greater than the meter can read, and finally, between neutral and our earthing conductor. So that's the insulation resistance test finished. For this test we had the main double pole switch in the on position, the circuit fuse in and in place, doing the insulation resistance from the tails all the way through the isolator, all the way through the circuit, up until the RCD which is turned off, therefore removing the electronic components within it during the test.